away, we have people filming, so please do not show any personal information. That's a sarcastic thing to do. You're a grown man. Can you please act like one? Cameras? Sir? Am I following anybody? I'm just trying to push people. I didn't follow We are tainted for some reason. We don't know why. We're not doing any transactions until they are removed because there's a possibility of them stealing your identity. Crime is being committed. We don't have to yeah, identify. Yeah. I was called out. I no crime is being committed. You're not going to get me. Okay. Uh, Do you have an ID on you? We haven't committed a crime. Oh, I mean, being warned for trespass, sir, that is a crime. We can't say we warned um, some random guy we know. You're required to ID. I just need you to ID yourself and then we can get out of here. Failure to ID does result in an arrest. I would like for you to make this easy for the both of us so we can avoid all that. I just need you to ID yourself. What's up, Pata fam? This video comes to us courtesy of a channel called The Walking Camera Guy. He's a smaller channel. He's been at it for a while. I kind of felt like I need to go look for some of these smaller channels that have quality videos and to try to get them some promotion. Um, there's a few things I think he could do better. However, I think overall it's an interesting video to look at and to check out. So this auditor went with another auditor to a post office in Kent, Ohio. And the post office did the typical oh we're shutting down well you see that more with the dmvs but you get my point oh you might get information they you know shut down and freaked out uh, mr santa claus here and watch how the police handled it they were pretty damn unprofessional in my opinion and uh one thing i can say is the part where the the officer is pushing to get the id from the gentleman he, he cut out he cut that part out now I'm not gonna say, hey, you don't ever give up your ID. There's no way, you know, fight it out. I, I get it, man. But I think it'd be a good idea to still show how you dealt with it. So if you gave it up, great. Blur it out, audio, mute, anything or whatever. But just that cold cut where you don't, people don't know what happened is kind of a turnoff. So, you know, let's keep the transparency going as much as you can, just my opinion. Anyway, overall, I think it was a good audit. Uh, check this out, see how the cops treated these guys, see how the post office overreacted, and they end up violating their rights because they ended up trespassing them unlawfully. Uh, they were just recording, they didn't cause any confrontations with anybody, nobody claimed that they did, they just simply didn't like them recording, which of course we all know, according to Poster 7, is totally okay. So anyway, check this out, uh, audit out. Go over to the channels. I'll have the link in the description. Good. The walking guy, the walking camera guy. Go check him out. Tell him Pat has sent you. Prove all things. We out.
May I sing O Solomio? I'm sorry? May I sing O Solomio in front of the camera? Absolutely. Okay. Okay, okay gentlemen, can I assist you over here at the desk door? <laughs> Sir, <for> the cameras? <laughs> Sir? I need to get the mail from my post office. I forgot very much. All right, again, no transactions until these people are out of here. In the meantime, I call them the police. We do apologize for the delay, but we're not going to jeopardize your credit and your personal identity. I just need you to scan this. Is that okay? Hello, this is the annual supervisor at the Kent Post Office. I was wondering if you could dispatch a couple officers here to the post office. We have people filming and possibly trying to steal identities here at the post office, and they will not leave. There's two of them with cameras. I've asked them to, to step aside. They do not do that. We are not permitting any type of transaction, so we don't want that tapes. Their identities are not stolen. There are two of them. Okay. Both are pretty like chest on your pants. They're already on the video. I have like a, I don't know, a transaction. Uh, actually, yes, that's a good number. In the meantime, we're not doing any transaction to keep our public safe. All right, thank you very much. All right, gentlemen, the, the police are on the way. They'll be here shortly. until they are removed because there's a possibility of them stealing your identity. So in the meantime, we're not doing any transactions. So the post office is closed. Until these gentlemen 
Are, we do not want to jeopardize your identity because we don't know who these people are. The police are on the way. Or so. foyers, corridors, and auditoriums. Interesting. Supervisor is a stupid visor. Postal inspector. Poster 7? Hey, supervisor. You ever read your poster 7? Rules and conduct inside the post office that you're supposed to adhere by? You're not allowed to take pictures. We are. And they could be getting help right now because look where the cameras are pointing. Right up your nose. Ma'am, uh, if the, you have packages ready to go, we can't accept them, but we are not doing any transactions. These people are filming, possibly stealing your identity, so we don't want the use of any, identity, any ID or credit card while they're here. Okay. Uh, so if you do have packages that are ready to go, the clerks will accept them. Okay. But if there's any transactions, we're going to curtail those transactions until the police arrive. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. This guy's fault that they have a 2.0 star rating on Google. I think I read a lot of complaints with his name on it actually. Sorry, there might be a delay in the transactions. These people are here filming. We don't know why. Possibly to steal your identity. So anything having to do with a credit card or any personal identification, we request that you do not show it. Uh, so in the meantime, we are curtailing operations until the police arrive. We do not want your identity stolen by these two people. Um, so we are currently uh, have closed down with transactions having to do with credit cards or personal identification. We don't want it stolen by these two people. We don't know who they are. And we do not want your credit card information on film. So and unfortunately, we are canceling any cancel actions that you have right now. 
If the package is ready to go, we'll be happy to accept it. But in the meantime, we request uh, that you do not show identity or credit card until these people are removed. Does, does he look like Santa We do Claus? apologize for the yeah, inconvenience. A bit like yeah, a little bit. Yeah. But like the bad Santa? I think if you just feel something, yeah. it's okay. Yeah. Or you don't show your ID. I would, or yeah, anything. don't show their ID. Your ID. Can don't. you scan that? And you're uh, done? They should be able to scan that. It goes on there and I'm done. I believe so. We do apologize for the inconvenience. Unfortunately, we do have to deal with this until the police arrive. Please leave, I'll still be here. Oh, he thinks we're here to steal your identity. Mm -hmm. He thinks we're here to steal identities. Over there. Ma'am, unfortunately, we do have a couple of people in here filming. So if you do have any transactions dealing with identity, or your credit card, we are asking that this you way. do not uh, okay. do those transactions. They may be here stealing your identity. We do not know. I'm we don't know who these are. Okay. And we're going to uh, ask that you keep uh, all identity in your... Okay. okay, the police are arriving now. Okay. You keep identity with you uh, until these people stop filming. All right, thank you. What happened? Good afternoon. My name is Daniel. I'm the supervisor here. Okay. I'm the one that called. These two gentlemen are filming, and we have no idea why. We have curtailed all transactions having to do with identity and credit cards because they may be stealing identities. We don't know. They have not introduced themselves. And no idea who they are. Can you try talking to them at all? I asked them to step over to this Dutch store. They did not comply with that. All they said something about. Um, uh, Poster says. number seven, which says they're allowed to film on government property, which I'm, I'm, I'm not taking them out, but we have to detail all our transactions until they leave. Actually, you don't. So, I, I, if possible, I would like them. Uh oh, somebody's filming inside the post office. Oh my God. Call the police or somebody filming inside the post right, office. Right. Calm, but call, listen, if one exercise right, I get that. But calm down, it's not entirely. I was about saying, like, oh my God, someone's filming inside the post office. No, somebody over there was filming. Okay, but it's. That's not antagonizing. If, if you're here, if you're here to exercise your right, then you can do that. And that's what we're doing. You don't, have, not, you, don't, you don't have to be sarcastic. Not I think that's a sarcastic. Not sarcastic. Sir, it's a sarcastic thing to do. You're a grown man. Can you please act like one? So excuse you. Saying, What's your name and badge number? So saying, What's your name and badge number? So if, if you want to get involved, I'm going to ask you to identify yourself also. What's your name and badge? Are you going to, are you going to identify yourself? Nope. Do you want I, to be involved? I have not done anything yeah, illegal. I need to know your name and badge number. Okay. Do they get any people say so? Uh, no, they were, no, they were pretty much standing and walking around right. a little bit, not uh, filming people. They were not, I did not see them interacting with anybody, just filming them. So they're not antagonizing anyone, they're not talking to anyone? No. They're not engaging? No. Not that I've seen. No. Alright, are you the only manager here? Yes. Daniel, Scott, Yes. Okay. All right. What's your exact title? I'm a supervisor. You're the supervisor? Yes. Okay. Do you guys have like a head? Is there someone? Oh, there is a postmaster, but she will be out for the next couple days. Oh, okay. She's out on holidays or something like that? Or yes. Have you tried calling them all? I have not. I came up here immediately and started telling customers to keep all identification hidden. Uh, How are you doing today? I don't need the terminals at all. Yes, but without filming, we don't want anybody to have their ID out. But they're not going near anyone or filming anyone's ID, correct? No. And they're not going near the terminals. Where you're no, they're but so they're just standing here in the lobby. They, they were standing. Excuse me. They were standing in there, and when I moved up here, they came up here. But so they were actually filming transactions. So do you have a problem with them standing here, though? Uh, I actually do. I, we do not like to have transactions where people's identity could be, could be taken. Okay. All right. Someone else filming me here or something? It's okay if you were. Yeah, it's 
completely within the law. You're allowed to record in a public space. Yeah, no, I understand your point. Is anyone bothered by their presence here? Well, yeah, why are you filming us? Yeah. Oh, does anybody bother to listen to that? Well, you do apologize for the delay. This is public So people are filming. We don't know why. Uh, Possibly identity theft. We don't know. Uh, they haven't said why they're here. And they have an idea. We don't want you to expose any type of uh, personal information while they're filming. Ooh, I'm going to go record this. We do apologize for the day, delay. No, they got rid of those long ago. Okay. Except in a few post offices. Okay. I know, but why do that? What kind of society? Why, why am I an ass? You don't even know why? me. You don't even know me. I don't want to know you. That's fine. Then walk away and stay away from me. Stay away from my car and leave me alone. I'll go. It's my car, not away yours. My, this is not your car. Oh, yes, it is. It's not your car. Did All you right. pay for it? Listen, you need to relax. Do you have a loan on that? You need to relax, okay? And you need to leave us alone. If you don't want us here, then we don't need to be here, but then don't get involved and start walking up to my car. I don't I know who you are or what you're doing. I can walk up walk to my away. car. My car. Not your car. Ain't yours. Yeah, you didn't pay for it. What are you guys doing? What? What are you doing? Just having fun? They don't want you back in, okay? So it's you, trespassing if you go back in. It, you can't they, trespass they, me from they, a public space. They, they said they didn't want you trespassing. They cannot trespass me. Okay, I'm get a supervisor here now. Get a supervisor here now. Two twenty one two hundred. Because you cannot trespass me from a. Okay. I have not committed a crime inside a public space. I cannot be. Two sixteen. Trespass from a public space. Okay. So they are you going to leave? Are you? They, they can't do that. Okay. Well. If I don't leave, are you going to arrest us? If I don't leave, are you going to arrest me? I didn't me? say that. I said they want you if to I, leave. They don't want you to trust me. I can go in okay. here. My supervisor's on his way out. You just asked for him if you would please stay outside. No. This is a public space. I didn't commit a crime. Thank you. They committed. He cannot be trespassed on public space. You. you want my supervisor? He's on his way. What's your name? You already have it from past practice. Okay. Excuse me. You already have it from the past. What past? 
What's your name and badge number? Officer Fuller, 221. Thank you. Have a good day. You can have a good day. I'm asking to tell you to have a good day. Okay. No. Sir, do you have an identification, please? I don't have one. You don't have one? No. How about name and date of birth? Thank you. Have a good day. Have a good day. No crime has been committed. We don't have to identify. I was called out. No crime has been. Who I'm out with. You're going to have to get a name out of me. Warrants, okay? No, wrong. Do you have name and date of birth? Um, I prefer not to give it. Madam, just to let you know, we've got two people in here filming. Don't we anything? don't know why. No. Uh, so in the meantime, we so are detailing transactions. You identify the yourself and they don't correct. steal your identity and credit card information. You're to identify yourself to the police and officer. So why does he need to identify himself? The they have a yes. You don't have a right to ask if we haven't committed a crime. We had a, we had a complaint out here. So there is no crime. Well. Okay. There's been no crime committed. No crime. Things are back to normal shortly. But in the meantime, we, we beg your forgiveness. You don't for like me, do you? Delay. Did I say You said it? you met me before, right? I don't know, have I? You don't recall, so maybe I did. Oh, interesting. Guys, you really got to get a life, guys. Come on now. You got to get a life. Citizens are over there, you should probably stand between me and the citizens. Okay. Oh, okay. Okay. Like me, I don't know. So, are you, yeah, I'll talk are you getting in quick. my way or for some reason? No. Okay. 
I thought I was going to go somewhere. I thought you wanted to talk to my supervisor. He'll be, with supervisor? You with, yeah, yeah. he'll be with you in a second, okay? <laughs> we don't. Oh, excuse me. Uh, I thought I thought a car did. You didn't smell it? Nope. Oh. What do you read on that face? He seems ready. Like angry. angry. A little anger. Probably frustrated. Yeah. Yeah. No, well, you're frustrating the customers, and there's no reason for I you can to record it. I didn't say that. I said you're frustrating customers, and there's no reason for you to do that. I don't frustrate so, the customers. What did the last lady just say? She called me a dumbass because I'm recording. Okay. She said she didn't appreciate you recording her. I don't right? care. So she's in public. You're disrupting public. No, I'm not. There's no privacy in public. I can record in public. Right. And you want to say you I'm disrupting? You don't have to follow people around and try I'm not to push following anybody. Buttons. Am That's I following you're anybody? Doing. You're just trying to push people. I didn't buttons. follow anybody. So. so you're just putting words in my mouth, Fuller. No. Your mouth's full enough. You don't need to fill mine up. Oh, you were boy. done talking That's to me. That's a good one. I'm childish. I know. I'm a Toys R Us kid. I thought I asked to speak to a supervisor. You old and it gets to you, okay? Okay, I'm going outside then. I'm too. sure you are. Yeah, what I do. But where the action is.
yesterday day we take the facility. Yes. Yeah. Thank you. That is correct. They have not. Yep, and he comes out. Yeah. Well, I'd like to enlighten you on something. What's that? I'd like to enlighten you on something. Do you have like, somewhere to be or anything? Or no. Okay. Uh, but I'll be with you if you know. I don't know. They're trying to arrest us. <laughs> have you read Poster 7? In, it's right over here. It's conducts that you're supposed to do inside the post office. We haven't recorded a single transaction. We're not here to do that. We've been zooming over the top of the people at the employees. Oh, that's about uh, 4.30, yeah, so. Come in just so you know you're being filmed. That's Fuller, right? Your car five? You're no one parked in the lines. Good job. So, 
I talked to the prosecutor, I talked to the postmaster general. I mean, I know you guys are First Amendment like auditors, you know, whatever you do with that. Um, but they don't want you in there in the area where they're doing transactions, and they have a legal right to tell you that you can't be there. They so actually I just, don't. Well, I just talked to a prosecutor, and so if you guys go back in there and you start recording in there again, you're going to get arrested for trespassing. Exactly. That's from the prosecutor. That's what you're saying it's right from now? from the prosecutor. Name and yeah. number? Sergeant Hardwell. Hathaway, Kent PD. So okay. That's from right. the prosecutor. At, uh, Federal lawsuit coming. Okay. You yeah, said it. If you go in I there, we're going to be prosecutor. arrested. If you go back into the I'm area, I'm where suing you, you and you, the Kent Police Department, and this post office. If you go back in the area where they're conducting transactions, the I can go there by law. By law, I can go there. Okay. But if by you feel law. that way, then I you know can, I can. can try me. Right in the right inside there, I can show you where it says I can do it. Okay. Or you can film. Yes. Yeah, we're not questioning filming here, sir. We're questioning being allowed on the premise. Period. Your person being here. They are reserved. They cannot. Right. They don't want. They're they trespassing. They, they have don't homeless want people that sleep in the lobby. Am I homeless sleeping here? No, but it's I'm a safe situation. I'm conducting a First Amendment protected activity. That's, I'm doing a story on this poor well, what I'm telling you post is it's, office. It's no different than a homeless going to get person worse. That's sleeping in the office. This is in the office bullshit. That say I'm a reporter. It's just like if you went into no, Acme. No, no. Right, this well, is not. This is not private property. I've told you our. I've told you our stance. You know it. You can make your adult decision. I will. Eat a bag of dicks. Directed totally at you, buddy. Sergeant can even do. Information. Man. Shouldn't leave your cat up. It's non public information. You'll see me again. <laughs> no. Sir, in the white hat, you need to stop. We have to ID you real quick because you were born for trespass. You have to know who we're speaking to, so you're required to ID. So I just need you to ID and we're out of here. Uh, he ID'd you, correct? What? My partner said he ID'd you, correct, sir? He said he knew who I was. He ID'd you, okay. We just, we don't we know been. who you are, so we need you to ID yourself, that's all. Okay. Uh, Do you have an ID on you? We haven't committed a crime. Oh, I mean, i Being warned for trespass, sir, that is a crime. We can't say we warned um, some random guy we know. You're required to ID. I just need you to ID yourself, and then we get out of here. Failure to ID does result in an arrest. I would like for you to make this easy for the both of us so we can avoid all that. I just need you to ID yourself. You said you know who he is, right? All right. Do you have your ID uh, on yeah. you? Definitely got to hire a First Amendment attorney now. This is right over here. Close this 
stabbed some. So that's good. One, two, three spots. Um, ten. I have a feeling he's going to try and follow. Mm -hmm. He aimed that way so he could put his camera on us. Oh yeah. His dash cam. Yeah. I think that was the cop from Halloween. The one that said uh, to get the light out of my eyes. Oh, I'm not sure. No, his name was Jim something. The cop on Halloween. Yeah. I No, they have to go around and go back out that way. Pretty soon. That's what I figured. Yeah. If this warning goes back to the city of Akron and they consider that me committing a crime, I'm going to be doing 28 fucking days in jail. 
Oh, maybe it went, because I think that's where all the post trucks are, so yeah. you can't go back that, unless there's a road that goes way out back that way or something. Since he went that way. Yeah. No, no. Well, we can go ahead on now. Yeah. It's fun part, you can get post office and aim to deliver their bad crap and kept police violating rights. Yeah. So now it's time to hire an attorney. And they got a fail. Definitely Big a fail. fail. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Sergeant's still sitting over there. <laughs> 